Hello, my name is Sean Callanan from Sports Geek, and I wanted to do this quick video, sort of a recap of the Super Bowl. Uh, congratulations to the Philadelphia Eagles uh, for the win over the Patriots. Um, absolute, uh, uh, it was a great game, uh, very exciting, lots of scoring and all those things, but and uh, a lot of analysis happening on off the field in the digital space. We had the brand bowl with all the. Uh, with all the ads and how they were assessed online and what, what succeeded there. Um, and then also a bit of analysis of, uh, you know, what worked online and things like that. And one, one thing that um, I guess popped up in my feed and uh, caused a bit of reaction and caused a bit of conversation um, uh, and uh, robust discussion, if you will, uh, was how the uh, Philadelphia Eagles team uh, signed off on, uh, on social media, on, t on Twitter. So if you have not, uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, this is the tweet. Um, uh, the Eagles social media team is out celebrating a great season on the field and on the internet. If we'll see you tomorrow, but in the meantime, fly Eagles fly with the with the graphic of sorry we're closed. Now myself, I saw this and uh, and I loved it. Um, it's uh, very consistent with the advice that we've given. Um, social media teams and digital teams when they're heading into a big game. Um, one of the things about big games is there's so much content. There's so much content happening. And uh, one of the bits of the small pieces of advice heading into a big game, like a, a Super Bowl or a championship game, is we always try to remind uh, uh, the people behind the scenes, don't forget to enjoy the moment. Um, it's one of the reasons you work in sport for these big moments. Um, and if you're so stressed about Con being content putting being put out and making sure you're capturing things and putting it out on all the different channels, uh, you can actually miss a really big and important moment that you want to celebrate with both uh, the people behind the scenes in the front office and the administration and also the players because you're all part of 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 that team. So you know, so I saw it and um, I posted it in our. Uh, Sports Digital Exchange uh, Facebook group where we just sort of share different posts around what we're seeing um, on the internet, but specifically around Facebook. Um, and I said, uh, you know, I loved it. Um, uh, I think it's important to sign off um, uh, to give you a signal to the fans that, uh, hey, you're not gonna be on these channels, but go and celebrate, especially after a win, um, but also after, after a loss, you can sort of give the fans permission to celebrate or commiserate. Um, and my main thing is is back to that. Uh, you work in sport because you love sport, um, and you really want to. Uh, you really should be able to reap those rewards. Um, so the counterpoint to that is this is the biggest moment. Uh, you should be capturing and con and uh, still pushing out content um, because there's an opportunity for greater reach and engagement and potentially uh, potentially new fans. So I understand that side of the argument. Um, but from but for mine, uh, it uh, it doesn't hold it doesn't hold that much weight. I mean, in context, uh, this tweet uh, went out at uh, eleven forty, so it was twenty minutes uh, to midnight, um, and so it's been a long day. Again, most of your most of the Eagles fans were probably lubing up with Crisco and starting to pull down uh, telephone poles. They were in party mode. They weren't looking at their screens to go, "What's the next piece?" Um, and as someone who's gone through, uh, you know, my team winning, I'm not looking at my phone. I'm looking and being in the moment. Um, but tomorrow and the next day and the de next day and the week after, I want to be able to recap and, and uh, uh, relive and see all those behind the scenes moments. So there's, you know, so for mine, ha taking this break, and again, they were back at it, posting away, um, I think six or seven hours later, uh, so, you know, they were able to soak it up and then get back into into work mode. Um, I, I don't think it's a I don't think it's a major problem. Um, and I and I also don't think they weren't capturing some of that information. They just weren't use it. They just weren't uh, posting things on Twitter. They were still posting things on Facebook. They were still posting things on Instagram. Um, and a thing is for mine, um, it's about who you're who you're serving. So in this case, if you look at the replies and the like on this post, most of their fans were replying, way to go, good work guys, well deserved, keep up, you know, thank you for all the work you've done this year. So when you're in this mode of win, 
you're really doing it for the fans that have stuck by you thick and thin. Yes, potentially you're going to get new followers and reach and those kind of things, but they are the last people of the bandwagon. They're just hopping on board because you've just won. Um, you, as I said before, you know the Philadelphia fans that have been there for many, many years and followed on the digital platforms, they, um, they're out there celebrating. And so, you know, so from my point of view, um, having a post, you know, and you can see here what they did on, on Facebook, having a post that says, hey, we're the champions, put that one up, let that one be shared, um, you know, and then it's a matter of uh, doing more and more after, you know, after the result, on the next day, that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, I'm not a big, I'm not sitting there criticizing them for, you know, not posting and continuing to post. Um, because again, it's such a cluttered world. There's so much content. Um, adding more content doesn't necessarily mean you'll have more wins. Um, I think they did a great job in, in capturing the moment and letting the fans uh, get around the moment. Um, and uh, I think in the long run, um, you know, it's about celebrating uh, as a team. So um, yeah, so I didn't, you know, if I'm looking at it, um, you know, looking at some of the some of the stats and just jumping into a into a tool here, Numballs, uh, that sort of looks at the social social following and, and the assets and things like that. Um, you know, they've seen a pretty steady spike. They've obviously been doing some good things in the in the playoffs. They've seen their Instagram really spike. And if you look at Facebook, uh, 3.2 million likes. Um, obviously, the the you know the fans are liking what what they're producing. So. It's a bit of a mountain out of a molehill for mine. Um, uh, I do believe, you know, if you want to uh, look after your staff, um, have them want to work for your team, um, and under, you know, and be able to soak in that moment. If you're going to deny them uh, the ability to celebrate um, a big win like a Super Bowl win and a drought-breaking one, um, then it's going to be uh, it's going to be hard to retain those staff. So. I'd love your feedback. It's like I said, there's no right or wrong. It's just the way that I feel, and it's I guess the way that um, uh, how I've worked with uh, people that have been in those those positions. Because again, um, a really busy day. Lots of different partners are pushing our content in all of these platforms, and so there's for mine on these big days. It's almost less is more from a publishing point of view. Like just post the key moments, just post the key content. Capture like crazy. Have a videographer that's tracking everybody and produce a documentary. Um, you know, have a photographer capturing everything. But the thing is you can't be putting all of that on all of the channels on the day. It's just gonna get lost with everybody else. Um, but what you'll see from a traditional media point of view is post the win. And whether it be a day or two, they'll, they'll obviously cover everything. But then a week later, the media will move on. They'll move on to the next sport or the next event or the next thing. Whereas your fans will still want content. And so that's when you can be doing uh, looking back content and, and giving different points of view and all of that kind of stuff. I think that lengthens the memory and uh, uh, the event for the fans. And that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to do it for your fans. New fans, yes, that's great. Have get them on board and that kind of thing. But for me, it's really about engaging your digital cheer squad. So, for the uh, Philadelphia Eagles and also the Patriots, the the, the digital teams behind uh, the NFL teams, um, you know, congrats on a great season and the, and the content that you pushed out there, um, and uh, all the best uh, for the upcoming season. So, I'd love to know your comments, what your thoughts are on it. Um, do you sit in the camp that I'm in of sign off, have some fun, still capture, but don't feel the pressure to be continually posting throughout the night? There was a few comments that said there would be probably a lot of content that actually doesn't isn't fit for a brand channel like a team. Um, so you've also got to take that into consideration. Or are you in the are you in the camp of keep posting, uh, keeping all the channels open, share? Uh, share and share and share throughout the night and the and the behind the scenes. Uh, what are your thoughts? Cheers.